Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be an exciting vlog because, well, we're gonna be vlogging the whole weekend and we've got a lot of stuff to do. And then we've got to take my truck, which I actually detailed yesterday. I should have waited until after the weekend, but I detailed my truck yesterday and now we're gonna take that, pick up my parents' dump trailer. We're gonna go grab a load of gravel, put it in the barn in the back, and then we have a lot of stuff to do. Tomorrow we're going to pick up a skid steer so that we can clean off the property. So I hate when my concrete's all dirty and dusty and all that stuff. Well, in the backyard, you guys know that we've been doing all that demolition in the back and we've been really just making a mess. So now there's nails, rocks, metal, wood, you name it. So we're gonna go pick up a skid steer. They've got one of the sweeper attachments on it, almost like a street sweeper. We're gonna pick up that and a bucket and then we'll have the dump trailer here and we're gonna get a lot of stuff done this week. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop right in. <laughs> let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. And honestly, I'm not even sure how I failed to mention this because this is gonna be like one of the highlights of my day. But if you guys remember in the last vlog, I mentioned that we got these new sequential turn signals for the front bumper that's going on the Mustang. Now, that bumper is ready to pick up today, ladies and gentlemen. So when we go pick up the dump trailer, we're gonna pick up the bumper as well. So I need to remember to take blankets so it doesn't get scratched and uh, way to pay for it. So we're washing baby girl's hair for the first time. She hasn't even fully gotten a bath yet. Oh, how old is she? Nine days? Yeah. <gasps> Nine days seems old. seems kind of gross, but you're not supposed to with her umbilical cord, but she's loving it. <laughs> yeah, she's enjoying it, a little spa day. <laughs> she's seriously like the best baby ever little massage brush she's loving it oh yeah you like that mama okay um well we have to take the truck to get the trailer so i've got to take this seat base and put it in my truck Alrighty guys i think i'm winning at this dad thing because i just did this in like two minutes but I got it in. I got a towel here so it doesn't scratch my seat and a towel here so it doesn't scratch my seat. I think it's time to get just get a base and a seat for my truck instead of having to switch them. All right, well, I'm excited to get to take baby girl with me on my first day of work, so here we go. Or not on my first day of work. I'm excited to take her to work with me for her first time, I guess I should say. Nice work. Are you comfy in there, little girl? And here comes. Going to work with dad. Okay, so now that we have the dump trailer loaded up, it's time to get some lunch, and then we gotta go grab that gravel and then head back to the house. Oh, we're getting gravel? Yeah, for the shop in the back. Oh man, that looks delicious. It's got like a grilled ham sandwich here. Something. Some it's Dr. Good, Pepper. She's the most content little baby ever. I know. All right, well, let's head up and get some gravel and get back to the, pro uh, the property so we can Thank get you. some work done. All righty, so now we gotta get the baby loaded up. We gotta head up to the gravel pit and I'll show you guys a little bit of that. That's like one of my favorite things is going up there and seeing all the heavy equipment and all that working. Um, we gotta get this loaded up, take that back to the house, drop it off, and then go pick up the bumper. We got not a whole lot of time, so. Like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite things to do because I love all the heavy equipment, machinery. I love I love towing with my truck. Like, you know, I, I, all that stuff is just intriguing to me. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up and we're gonna pull up on the scale with the trailer and the truck. We'll get what's called a dry weight. And then after they load us down, we're gonna get weighed again. And then the difference in that weight is how they know how much to charge us. So we're gonna head over there and I'll check in with you guys in just a second. Over here by the shed, you'll see right there on the left, we're gonna pull over here on the scale. Like I said, and we'll get that dry weight and then we'll go load up.
Okay, so now, since we've got a lot of weight on the back, you'll start to see the front of the truck lifting up. So now we're gonna put some air in the bag so that this can pump up a little bit and be level. So we're gonna put this up to about 35, 40 PSI. Thank you. Okay, and then we're gonna pull back the tarp and we are gonna cover this load. Okay, so we are loaded down with about 12,000 pounds of rock. Okay, made it back to the house. So now we're gonna drop the trailer right here. We're gonna leave the gravel in there. We've gotta move those trailers that are back there, pull that stuff out so that we can get the gravel in there. The goats are yelling at us, so we're gonna hurry and get them fed up and the chickens checked on. What are you yelling at? Are you, are you yelling at me? Are you yelling at me? Okay, there's some. And then, there's some. What are you yelling at? Rocky. What are you yelling at? Oh man. He's stuck, I gotta get him out. Okay, now the animals are fed, time to get the trailer unhooked, and then we will move the back ones. Okay, so this is gonna be where the gravel's headed. So you can kinda see back here how we've already got some down. Now this last little bit is pretty much just gonna fill in all these little spots that need it. So I am going to move the trailer out, gonna have to clean up all the trash in here, and then we'll bring in that um, gravel. And then when we get the skid steer here in a couple days, when we get the skid steer here in a couple days, we will, uh, Make it all smooth, make it all look nice. What's up, doggos? What's up, guys? Alrighty, so I got the trailers unhooked, I got that one moved, I've got one more to move back there, but Blade just texted us and said that the bumper for the car's done, so we're gonna go see if Sam and the baby are ready to go, and we're gonna head over and pick that up. Got the family loaded up, now we're gonna head to go pick up that bumper, and we also have some dog treats for Blade's dog, so we'll see if we can get his dog to maybe do some tricks for us, but, uh, one of our favorite brand of dog treats, so we'll drop these off for him. So we'll catch you guys there in just a minute. All right, just made it down to Blade Shop, and he does have Finrear outside with him, so we're gonna go surprise him with this bag of treats, see what he thinks. See if we can't get him to do some tricks for us. What's up, Finrear? What's up, buddy? <laughs> I come, I come bearing gifts. I, hello. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look, dude. I come bearing oh, nice. some gifts for you guys. Look, buddy. Yeah, look. I'm not the bad guy now, huh? Good boy. Good boy. All right, guys. First look at it. And I am not going to lie. This is beautiful. Look at that paint. You can even see on camera how well that is. Blade, I think you did a good job with this Thanks, one. Um, and then we got to get back to the house and get working on the yard while we still have nice weather. It's about 65 degrees out here. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's get this thing loaded up and head back to the house. All right, well, we made it back to the house. So just real quick, you guys can see kind of what that looks like. And a sneak peek of what it's going to look like when this is all on. All right, guys, so it is the next day, and, well, it's beautiful out here, even though there is a slight bit of wind. So we are headed to pick up the skid steer now, which comes with a sweeper attachment and a bucket attachment, and we've got a lot of property to clean up. So we are going to, well, we'll head over there, and we'll catch you guys in just a sec. Okay, seriously, I know I say this all the time, but, guys, I am so blessed to live in just such a beautiful valley. It's absolutely gorgeous here. 
Okay, well, we made it down to Renegade Rentals where they've got pretty much everything. Okay, first things first, we gotta grab a trailer and then you can see right, right there is the machine that we're gonna be taking today. So we're gonna get this loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and pull this pin out and get this uh, trailer to drop. So this is what we call a tilt deck trailer. So the back comes down so you don't have to have any ramps. So we got the back down now, and he's bringing the skid steer over. And this is why we call it a tilt deck. Okay, so we got the bucket loaded up now. Now we've got the sweeper attachment that's coming, so we're gonna load that up, and then we're gonna head back to the house. Well, we made it back to the house and now I'll show you guys what we're working on. So you can see how dirty this concrete is. And I mean, the whole landscape just doesn't look that great. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll know that we have been redoing this whole property. So like all this stuff, all this is gonna come up with that sweeper attachment. Maybe we'll clean June up with that sweeper attachment. Hi guys, how's it going? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel, Roddy's. So we've got the trailers all put over here. We've got the gravel to put in the back. We've got this stuff to dump out. So let's get to it. Not to mention like all this stuff that needs cleaned. It's, it's gonna be a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta get this pin pulled out so that way the trailer can tilt. Lift this up. You know, you'd think for such heavy equipment they'd have a key, but no, no key. Backup camera. Well, that's nice. Fancy. Yeah, we made it. This is what we like to see. Okay, so we've got the everything unloaded. We've got the truck hooked up to the dump trailer. We've got the load of gravel that we went and picked up yesterday. Over there, you can see behind that trailer, we have a pile of dirt we gotta get rid of, but we've gotta put the gravel back here in the barn. Some of the gravel also needs to go by the hot tub area because the dogs have smashed that down, so we're gonna be unloading some of that there. The goats are yelling at us though, so we're gonna hurry and go feed them real quick. All right, I hope you guys are okay with hay or uh, oats today. I assumed you would be. How did I know you would be? Okay, well, time to get uh, this load of gravel dumped. Time to get the uh, dump trailer moved over where we can load it with trash and hop in the skid steer and get some work done. Even the neighbor's cows like watching me work. Yeah. What do you think of the new wheels on my truck? You like those? No? All right.
job at concrete. So, uh, I'm gonna see if I can flip this pizza. Alrighty, so we got the concrete all broken up. Now we just gotta get it moved over to the concrete pile. So we've got like a, a burn, trash, whatever. I don't really know what the heck this is pile. And then we've got a concrete pile over there and then we've got a metal and wood pile in the back. So now we're just gonna take and get all this stuff moved. And it kind of sucks that these poles are right here, but I'll tell you what's good about that is we could just drop poles down in the middle since those are already concreted in and we could put up a pin right here and we could either open this up for more goats or put new animals right here. So we can now take all this concrete. I've got to get in, I've, pretty much I've got to move one, get in from the other side and start just pushing it out. Now the only downside is this is all rebarred together. So I'm gonna have to break up the concrete into small enough pieces. So it's gonna be, I don't know, kind of a pain. We'll see, we'll see if we can move them over as big a piece as we can. If not, then we're gonna have to break it up and load them in the bucket and then get them over there. So let's get to it. it up for like literally a 12 hour work day so as you can see over there where we started we've got all that cleaned out we've just got the post there like i talked about earlier we can put fences paneling whatever we want to do there um we pretty much got everything cleaned out take a take a walk real quick with me over here so we took seven loads to the dump we've got the wood to clear up we cleared out practically everything that was over here and then back here so we haven't spread the gravel yet all the way in the back we tried to pull out some of that rose bush and clean up over there um, this is looking great getting ready for that sweeper attachment, but we're running out of light, so we might have to resume this in the morning. So we got gravel to do in the morning, got this right here, which I, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys it before, but I mean, there was a pile, there was metal, all this stuff. So I practically, I mean, you can tell where I turned around right here, but I flat graded this whole thing and gave it just a tiny bit of slope so that it slopes down this way towards the pavement. Um, and then up to that concrete. I don't know if you can tell that on camera or not. Went ahead and pulled out all these posts besides that one. I couldn't get that one out yet. Um, cleared up all back there. So this is where I was talking about that we'll throw um, potentially some cows back here, put up some, some, uh, some gates on that concrete and be ready to roll. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far. We'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and I got a lot of work done. I actually ended up working into the night through about almost midnight. So just real quick, I wanna show you guys what we're working with. The concrete is starting to be swept. So that's the sweeper attachment that I have on the skidster now. I showed you guys in the earlier video. Sadie's crying at us and the chickens need fed. So we're gonna hurry and get them taken care of and then we're gonna be getting to work and cleaning the rest of this up. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up all the yard work that I had in mind for this weekend and even just a little bit more. We got the skidster loaded up now. The weekend was cut short just a little shy because if you can see right here, well, we've got a hydraulic hose leak. So um, I've got everything loaded up. I got the bucket on the front. I got the sweeper back on and the yard 
really does look great guys um i'm really tired one really dusty too so i am going to show you guys the rest probably tomorrow um but i have a little bit of like hand sweeping now to do like in the corners and and there's a little things that you can't just do with this kid's here so we'll catch you guys tomorrow but we made it back to the rental place now to drop off this kid's here and then head home okay breakfast is secured so this is a smothered green chili verde breakfast burrito they are delicious from gracie's here in logan utah Okay, so now that we've eaten breakfast, we've got the dump trailer loaded up with one last final load. So overall this weekend, this will be the eighth load of dump trailer, about 10,000 pound capacity. So we'll say 80,000 pounds, 75,000 pounds worth of trash hauled off of the property this weekend. Incredible. So we got Sam coming with us. We got the baby in the back seat. in the Roddy Channel sweater with Kenai's face on it. Cozy's back there rocking the minky blanket. Well, we made it home and I, well, I think we have a problem. There's like three or four Amazon packages here and then two big packages and it's not even Christmas. We made it home just in time and I don't think you guys can see on the camera but it's just starting to have some snowfall. So we are into April, mid-April and it's snowing here in Utah. So. I'm gonna show you guys what we did to the property. So you can see out here, I kinda swept up all this stuff. Swept up all this. There was some uh, loose asphalt here, so I broke that up and got rid of that. Now, I don't know if we should recoat this later or what. Hi guys. What's up? So we got all this stuff cleaned off. We got all the trailers pulled out still. I broke out this wall right here and put in some gravel. So all this will, um, will be graveled. And then we got the concrete broken down. I've got a little bit to shave off the top of there. I got all this cleaned up. I got all that cleaned out over there, ready for some animals to put over there. We got a little garden spot right here. Concrete pile over there. We're gonna have to get that recycled. Cleaned over in front of the goat pen. Looks really good over here. And then back here is a huge transformation. There was a pile up over this concrete wall of debris and stuff that was left over, but we got this graded out. It's looking really nice. The property is coming along great. Now, real quick, I just wanna show you guys in the barn where I laid down the gravel. So eventually this will be getting concrete. So we needed gravel down anyway, but now all the dust is covered. It's gonna look a lot better and it's not gonna be dusty every time I pull a trailer back here. So I gotta take a rake and level out the high spots and then that kind of wraps it up for today's project. So I'm gonna head inside and feed the dogs some dinner tonight. What do you guys think of the cleaned up backyard? Here you guys go. Wanna go inside and eat? You guys wanna go inside and eat?